I mean, 250 in this car is more than enough. Yeah, I think that's way more than enough. <laughs> yeah, 250 and the car is under 2,000 pounds, you said? Yeah, like around 2,000 with the uh, with us in it, like maybe 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Rio, Rio recognizes Rio. Rio recognizes Rio. <laughs> Welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today we have Tony. Tony, thank you so much, man, for making the time. My pleasure, my pleasure. So tell us, Tony, what do you drive, man? Uh, 99 MX-5 Miata. Is that an actual real car? Because it looks like a little toy, man. It's, uh, it's small, it's nice. I got it in a cereal box. Uh, oh, <laughs> they still give those out. Okay, yes. he kept those. <laughs> Dude, what a beautiful car, man. Thank you, thank One you. One of the best cars ever, you know, just created in general, just in life. But uh, before we get into this beautiful build, man, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Like, when do you remember thinking, I like cars, this is my hobby? Uh, so, I grew up around cars. Uh, my family, they all owned uh, old Hondas. They all owned, uh, you know, old domestics and uh, Japanese cars. Uh, my cousin, he would drive me around in his uh, white S2000 right when they came out around wow. the year 2006, 2007, around there. Uh, I remember uh, falling in love with that car. It had the red interior, the red guts, uh, with white on the outside. And uh, I remember that's, that's when I remember I think I, I, I like cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it, was, it wasn't until like around high school, like I started really, really like wanting to get into, the, mm -hmm. into cars. And uh, that's when I picked up my first car at 18. At a, it was a 93 Miata. And uh, now we're here. <laughs> okay. So you just like Miatas? Is that your thing? Um, or how, what, what, what do you think like the Miata kind of caught your eye? Well, uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when I first uh, started looking into cars, it was uh, anything with pop-up headlights. And oh. well, the Miata was one of them. And uh, I ended up buying it. And, uh, uh, you know, of all the friends and uh, people I've met along the way with uh, my first car, I was like, oh, I need to get another one. Something a little bit more comfy, more modern. And, uh, landed on uh this guy right here <laughs> you pick up one year later <laughs> yeah one year later <laughs> everybody's thinking like this guy's gonna go get a, a four-door sedan you know all oh night. yeah something uh big and uh <laughs> comfortable fast. Yeah. yeah 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 no <laughs> back guess, yeah that's funny man so how do we stumble upon this car uh so this car i picked up off of a old lady uh What's it called? Uh, I went to go check out a uh, Mazda Speed because I wanted something with a little bit more power. And um, mm -hmm. I had the money at the time and uh, the guy wanted too much. And uh, my dad was going through OfferUp and he showed me this one. And so we went to go check this one out. And uh, it just uh, the deal ended up happening that, that day. Okay. So that was helping. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was helping my... Uh, that's cool. Your addiction. My, fi my financial mistakes. <laughs> Your financial mistakes. Um, and where did you say you pick up the car? Uh, I want to say in Arcadia or uh, okay. up there by uh, Azusa. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, not too yeah. far. Yeah, not too, not too far from here. Uh, 
But this one, uh, I call it Gem Yada because what's it called? The the lady, she had uh, every all the original uh, dealership stickers, the pricing. Uh, she kept notes of uh, how the vehicle was maintained, how it was uh, taken care of. And so, you know, the car was pristine, uh, bought it with very low miles. Uh, and she just took amazing care of the vehicle. Wow. So definitely the, the gem that you want to buy, that's the car that everybody dreams of, you know? Yeah. The older person <laughs> driving it. And then you go and I'm sure you keep records of all that as well, right? Uh, of course I do. Of course. <laughs> Every time you're air out, is that, is yeah, you put your, yeah. your log in? I have like a little tally mark. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So you pick it up. What was the vision for it, man? Uh, honestly, uh, not what it looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> so the vision got better? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I guess so. No, got, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. better. Uh, originally, uh, the car, I wanted it to just be like a... Sort of tracky stance, uh, what's it called, you know, fun cruiser for the weekends and now it turned to like this. Uh, the complete opposite. Yeah, half stance monster. <laughs> there you go, okay. I mean, you can still kind of track this, but you probably can't go as fast. Uh, no. <laughs> you know, your limitations. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit of limitations. I mean, I can do it all, man. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I've taken this car everywhere, so. Uh, she remained faithful to me. Yeah, <laughs> man, this is a great car. I mean, can you actually get a speeding ticket in this? Uh, <laughs> you're like, yeah, we just, we just, man, you're already talking smack? Yeah, if, uh, if it's, uh, you know, you can just be the cop. Like, come on, you're really going to give me a speeding ticket? Everyone's going to laugh at you at the police department. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're going to brag to them that you gave a Miata a speeding ticket? Yeah, you can. I love these vents. Yeah, so. Uh, They're super functional. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they stick. They stick. Okay. <laughs> For all that hot air. <laughs> uh, you know, that's my, my radio right here, Bluetooth cassette. No way. Yeah, so I'll I have the same thing. Yeah, connect to my phone. And... Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, you know, every Miata has a check engine light. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every Miata. Does. I thought that was only like Volkswagen. No, 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 no. It's, it uh, also comes with the Miata. The okay. Miata. It's factory. Yeah, yeah, it's factory, yeah. It, as soon as it rolled off. Worry it when it. it's not on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll worry I'll worry when it starts flashing. <laughs> but we just checked the engine. It's still in there, so we're good. Oh, yeah. We should be good. No. <laughs> we literally just popped it. I don't, I, don't, I don't look at this. I look at the oil pressure. I'm like, if, as long as that don't go down. <laughs> look at the speed. speedometer. If it still goes up, we're good. Yeah, we're good. If the, tuc if the tachometer is working. Oh. Solid. This is great. I mean, we're not small dudes, and we're pretty comfortable here. Oh well, yeah. I mean, uh, if we were in an NA, we'd probably be a little bit more squished together. Um, I'm talking from the experience of an NA owner. Uh -huh. MBs just feel wider on the inside. Mm -hmm. I've driven all the all the Miatas. I've driven the NC, the ND, the NA, and this for, this for me has the most comfortable interior. Really? Yeah. Gotcha. Like NAs, they're a bit too old. And these, they made them for like uh, people under five foot five. <laughs> and the uh, NCs that are it's just plastic. It's like you know the cheap early two thousands plastic that old cars would have. It's just they kind of it's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of gross. No, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I don't like that. This is good though. This is a great car. Um, it's comfortable, especially with bags. It, it, it becomes an issue of you know how comfortable something is. Uh, yeah, I mean the bags. At first, I thought that it was gonna be way too bouncy and everything, but it rides really nice. Barely. <laughs> 25 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. That's 
not how fast you're going, but how, but how you feel in the car, you know, that matters. So, oh, yeah. Definitely. Look at that. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're for, man. They're, they're nice cruisers. Um, great guys mileage, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I mean, uh, uh, if I drive it every day of the week, it'll last me two weeks. That's if I, you know, drive moderately. If you drive it recklessly, you know, you're gonna go to the gas pretty fast. Yeah. There's a thing with, I think, all NA and MB owners, if as long as you're not going over 80, you'll get good MPG. Oh, 80 is a spot. Once you start going over 80, you'll, you'll see the needle drop a little bit faster. It's like you're driving a V6 or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Now, this is a great car. It's comfortable. The roads are not super, you know, flat. Um, um, for Long Beach, you know, the road's kind of <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's the car itself is very comfortable, especially when you're rocking those wide wheels and the tires. Um, oh yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the car I drive it pretty far. I've driven it uh, all the way, I believe. Uh, I've driven up, up to Azusa, all the way up to the okay. Canada, you know, the car handles it well. about this car so tell us about the front end what do you got going on oh so the front end is a 2002 i believe front end facelift uh so i swapped out the 99 uh front end for a uh, more uh the mb2 front end so uh what is the major change uh so the major changes are the headlights and the mm. bumper uh oh, okay this bumper came out for the later gen of the nb miatas uh MB1s, they're a bit more rounder, mm. a bit more bubblier. This one has a bit more, you know, you can see the edges more. Uh, it looks a little bit more aggressive. Uh, on top, we have a garage very carbon fiber hood. Wow. So uh, from what I know, I think it's uh, there's not that many here in the United States. Oh, OK. It doesn't matter what you do to a Miata. They always look like they're smiling, so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one looks really nice, man. Okay, and and how's the aftermarket support for specifically the MB? Oh, um, it's amazing. I think oh. it's a there was a, a little bit more aftermarket support uh, than the NA. Really? Yeah, I feel like there's a mm. way way more stuff you could do with to these uh, MBs than uh, the NAs. Oh, okay. Just because you know, you got uh, all the OE, all the OEM side skirts. Uh, NA Miata didn't really come with any of those OEM uh, any OEM uh, upgrades like mm -hmm. to the body, uh, and this uh, this has uh, all of that. Gotcha. Okay, and then, um, man, just the, the car is originally black, right? Yeah. So okay. this is all original paint from '99. From '99. Uh, the only thing that's been resprayed is the front bumper. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah. that's a, okay. That's a whole different yeah. thing. Okay. Man, beautiful. This hardtop. Tell uh, us about it. So this hardtop I uh, picked off uh, off of this uh, kid up in uh, I think San Jose. And uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a closer hardtop. <laughs> Man, not for the price I, I wanted for. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So you know, I had to what's it called? Dive into the Miata hardtop prices. I I folded. I was like waiting for like you know, I was hoping for those uh, 2019 <laughs> Miata hardtop prices, but no. No, that's, no. those are gone, man. <laughs> yeah, I paid almost twice of what I was hoping to pay for it. But uh, you know, it has the OEM defrosters. Oh shoot! I didn't yeah. even notice that. You're right. Yeah, OEM defrosters. Uh, this is a, you know, the best I guess hardtop you could get for the time. I know there's a couple iterations of the hardtops, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, this is the I guess the one I wanted. <laughs> but this is an OEM top. Uh, yeah, this is OEM top. Okay. Uh, it has the OEM latches. And uh, it just plugs into the defroster yeah. stuff. See, so that's cool. Like you obviously are taking the time to go and buy the the right part for your car, mm -hmm. since you're gonna keep it and and you know maintain it. And then you decided to go with a different theme on top, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, when I bought the the hardtop, it was white. Mm. So uh, I had uh, these wheels weren't originally white. So oh. so I was like, well, you know, I don't really want to change the color. I kind of like the two tone. It's like a reverse panda. Ah. 
Yeah. So uh, reverse panda. I was like, yeah, I'll keep. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll make the wheels white. <laughs> man, that's crazy. I like it. I really, really do, man. And then the bag. What do we have going on, man? Well, uh, so this is actually a carbon fiber uh, trunk from Carbon Miata, and uh, the sequential tail lights from Carbon Miata as well. Oh, nice little upgrades, huh? Yeah. Uh, we got a ISR titanium exhaust, and you know couple clear tail lights uh, nothing crazy really in the back it sounds really good though yeah that's what two and a half or three inch piping uh, i want to say two and a half okay it looks like three inch but then i had to like uh adjust for the size of the car yeah I you think, know i think it's a <laughs> one and a half on um, the whole car and then it's a two and a half or three inch at the, uh, the exit so it's getting ready for that turbo yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or that case swap, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, don't get us started, man, with the case swap. Okay, you're a man of good taste, so I don't doubt you. You'll go that route. <laughs> um. Man, so this, this is not stock height, right? No, no. Are you sure? Because they, they're low, so. <laughs> so. I don't think I'd how to make it. I made it here that low. <laughs> Tell us about this suspension, dude. What, what did you decide to go with? Uh, so originally I was gonna go with a D2 uh, air suspension, but I uh, ended up seeing a lot of good reviews on the True Hard air suspension. Mm -hmm. And uh, just reliability-wise, I heard the D2s were, uh, you know, they would pop their bags a lot and. Uh, I talked to this one guy, he was on True Hearts and he had been on True Hearts for like three years. And so I was like, you know what? I'll buy it just because they sound reliable. Yeah. And you know, I've had the bags on for a year and I've never had an issue with them. That's awesome. What made you go with the bags? Um, so I had a coilovers on before this and I, I love the height, but I would just look at pictures and I'd see like <laughs> wheel gap and I was like, Oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> nope, don't like that. No, don't like that. And, uh, so I was like, well, I was looking at what it takes to bag a Miata and I was like, this is not that expensive at all. So, <laughs> well, hey, compared to most cars, you know, I paid <laughs> two grand to bag the whole car. Yeah, okay. So, and it's been a reliable setup. So that's Yeah, good. and it's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, always gone up and down when i needed it to <laughs> it does come in handy man bags are super cool because you know like this you're, you're completely slammed right now and then when you come across a bump or a ugly uh driveway race it up no issues mm -hmm. well one thing about bags though you have to know the fit man and you've obviously know the fit man so with that comes the game of you know wheels and tires so tell us about your wheel and tire man what do you got going on Okay, so uh, wheels and tires right now are work VSXXs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, I believe, 15 by 8.5 with a plus 11 offset. Ooh, man, they fit perfect. Mm -hmm. So these Miatas can definitely have a, you know, 20, uh, you said plus 20, you said, or 10? Plus 11. Sorry, yeah, plus, plus 11. 11. Yeah. So, uh, wow, so this aggressive. interesting story about these wheels is. Uh, I had the original owner, uh, well, not the original owner, but one of the owners of the wheels come up to me and it's like, hey, where'd you get these wheels from? And it's like, oh, I bought them off of this dude uh, in Tustin. His cat was sleeping in them. He had them outside, like, it was just rotting. It's like, they, I had these wheels on my Miata. It's like, oh, damn. Uh, apparently, the 15 inch VSXXs are rare. Mm. So uh, it's, it's funny to get the, my, uh, the wheels recognized by someone else, you know, at a random car meet. Oh, okay, I'm just glad he didn't say it. my wheels were stolen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful wheels and you refinished them, right? Yeah, so I had them broken down, uh, re-powder coated, uh, barrels repolished, uh, bents all fixed. Uh, like when I got these wheels, they were in really bad condition. Like, they were like, yeah. like why I didn't you, like that. Who, <laughs> who would buy them? <laughs> who would buy them? You would buy them. Yeah, I'd buy them. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a fun. And then the tire size, what do you got going on? Oh, uh, so they're Toyo Extensas, I believe, and it's a 195.45. Damn, baller. Okay, yeah, we see you. Wow. And then uh, camber arm, suspension, goodies like uh, that? So the rear has uh, fabricated uh, upper control arms to get it to sit uh, the way it sits in the rear because if not, it sits too high. So uh, I still have a, mm. I still have a little bit of uh, fitment issues uh, to work out in the rear, but um, 
that's I'm kind of happy on how it's uh, looking like right now. Yeah, a thousand percent. I agree. Wow, the front is done. Oh yeah, that was a. Uh, I was I was surprised that it came out that good. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was scared it was gonna come out. Uh, it was because when it airs up, it uh, it's mm -hmm. a little bit uh, more spaced out to the fender. But when it airs out, it like cambers in a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> Let's talk about the interior if you don't mind yeah uh, opening up the door for us uh let's see what we have going on i mean it's a race car so i expect a lot of race car stuff oh yeah man you know bucket seats uh, roll cage all the good stuff <laughs> six point cage yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> well uh beautiful car you know i always say that a 10 i'm not a big of a 10 interior but now i'm coming around and i can only just imagine how cool this car look uh just from factory black car tan interior it, it's just it's such a nice combo so I, I don't know i guess i'm getting older and i'm starting to like tan but yeah i think that's a you know come of age kind of thing or, you know i think all the all that's why they make all these cars tans because only old people can afford them honestly yes <laughs> and then a young guy like you. and then a young guy like me wants them <laughs> <laughs> to stand it out yeah the lady was like, oh, I kept breakers for uh, everything, every every maintenance. Don't worry, lady. Start I'm going to bag it. I'm going to bag it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so tell us about the interior, man. What do you got going on? Uh, so nothing crazy. Uh, NRG quick release, uh, renowned steering wheel. Uh, I have uh, my little uh, tire pressure sensor monitor thing on the dash. Uh, shirt's tucked in, marbled black uh, shift knob. Um, besides that... Uh, Nothing really much. Uh, the lady, she installed the little wood grain panel thing, so you'll oh. see it all around the car. So I guess that was her taste, and uh, you know, it kind of grew on me, so I just left it. I didn't, I didn't want to take it off. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. Uh, I did a soft top delete, so mm. removed the soft top. The people that have soft tops want hard tops. The people that have hard tops want soft tops. Yeah, yeah. it's a whole mess <laughs> yeah, but this is cool man it's a very beautiful interior the seats look in great condition yeah i got a uh, it originally had tan seats but mm. um what's it called i swapped it out because it was just too much tan to me <laughs> i needed a little bit more uh you know black a accents to it okay so uh you know i got these seats for 50 bucks i was like all right slap them in yeah and what are the future plans for the interior um uh, I was thinking of maybe getting like uh, some Recaros. Okay. Maybe, maybe uh, but you know, uh, big guys and Miatas, you know, the seats are kind of hard to come by for uh, these cars. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Well, beautiful, beautiful interior, man. You have it well taken care of. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that, that these cars is now with a good owner and you've had it for about how many years? Uh, I bought the car in 2020, so it's about to come up on three years. Three years, okay. So time flies, right? I mean. Well, a couple, yeah, the renowned steering wheel, very, very nice steering wheel. It just, uh, you need you need that grip for all that, what, 130 horsepower? Oh, shoot, man, you're being too generous with me. <laughs> let's, let's, check out the, let's check out the engine compartment, if you don't mind, let's see. Oh, uh, my case swap. Oh, okay, let's go. That's a B-series. Gra grand premiere here. None of your homies know this, but we'll see. He went LS. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is nice dude yeah so uh nothing crazy really done to the engine uh just uh it's mostly all stock uh you can see the oil filter relocation that i did for the car what yeah so you know is that a common mod or uh, you just you're like let me do it because it's so much harder to find it down there uh, no it's just uh you know easy to do oil changes <laughs> wow uh, yeah. that's cool i hadn't seen that Okay. Uh, DND, I believe, works uh, air intake. You know, makes it sound like a motorcycle. <laughs> 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 and uh, just a little coolant shroud. Nothing really crazy. I just keep the engine bay clean. You know, uh, functional. Yeah. Is this your daily? Yeah, this is my That's daily. Sick. Oh man. Daily once a day. You know, uh, once a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember when I was young, I could daily something like this, man. And I was getting harder. This is cool, though. Man. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I Yeah, and this car is, you know, obviously, they're amazing. Uh, does Did it come with AC? Yeah, so it, it has AC. Uh, when I when the oil filter relocation was done, the oil lines actually accidentally burnt through the AC lines. So it leaked out all my refrigerant. <laughs> so... I kind of, you know, shot myself in the leg right there. Okay. Car's been without AC for a while now. <laughs> but when I had it, it had AC. Yeah, but it doesn't get hot in Southern California, so you're good. Oh, yeah, and you convertible, you know, you just take the top off. All right. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is great, man. Uh, any future plans for the engine? Uh, I'm, I'm in between, you know, either boosting it or uh, possibly putting a K in it. Uh, but uh, if I do that, the bags are going to go. So, I kind of like want to leave it like this until maybe like the engine pops or something. So never, never, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you take care of these cars; they'll take care of you. So, okay, that's cool. Yeah, no complaints here, man. Keep it like this. Leave as is. Enjoy it. Drive it. These cars are meant to be driven. How many miles does it have? Uh, I believe right now it has a hundred and fifty thousand. One fifty for a ninety-nine. Yeah, ninety-nine. Okay, so that's still somewhat low. Yeah, I bought it with a hundred and twenty-seven. Oh wow, man! The lady drove it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Alrighty, Tony, thank you so much, man, for the taking the time to, you know, show us this beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, it's so cool that you know the history of the car, you know? Most of the time, by the time you get to own it, it it's like, I don't know where the car was. I don't know how it was maintained. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so you bought it from the original owner. That's mm -hmm. such a good feeling, because now you get to take care of it. You know exactly, uh, you know, what's broken maybe self-inflicted wounds but um, yeah <laughs> other than that man you have a beautiful car and thank you again man for making the time for us man of course any shout outs uh I'd like to shout out you know my cousins for putting up you know helping me when i get stranded on the side of the road uh my girlfriend for putting up driving in this like turd with no ac and you know my my uh, dad and my mom for you know su supporting me on my terrible financial decisions Oh, they're not terrible. They make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is great, man. This is great. I, I completely understand uh, the the idea of just modifying a car, making it your own. This is definitely your own. And I don't know, man. I'm sure the older lady still follows you. And be like, damn, that stand, my boy. <laughs> I think she'd have a heart attack if she saw what I did to her car. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, she goes and says. Man, I'm having a heart attack because of your rear fit, man, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Nah, man, this is beautiful. Thank you so much, man, for making the time. And no, no, thank you. Nah, man, I'm, we like cars. We like, you know, everyday people like you and myself. Mm -hmm. And we like everyday builds like this. This is cool. Like, I think it does, you're not going to win any races, right? Not that you race on bags I'm, I'm and not planning race. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the smile that you have just driving this car, that goes to show you, you know, that's what car enthusiasts are all about. You know, it's just... Having something that makes you makes you laugh and, and smile and enjoy and there's a huge community of Miata people out there. So oh yeah, know, it's, it's just that's the fun part. So thank you, man, and uh, looking forward to see what you do with this car in the future. Sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it.